Dallas Cowboys headquarters at the Star in Frisco. Just got off the practice field. Uh, we will give you a live update from Cowboys practice. And there's a lot of good news here. Uh, some scares over the course uh, of the last 24 hours and certainly in the last couple of weeks. But uh, let's walk you through what's what. Let's start with Dak Prescott. Uh, Dak re-enters the fold now uh, at practice today. Should go fully. Uh, he was uh, limited yesterday with the calf. But as we've said time and time again, and this includes Sunday at Minnesota. Had that been a must-win playoff game, he would have played today. Uh, the view is we don't need it to be that severe a circumstance. He's going to be fine. He is going to practice and play Sunday and this week with the Broncos coming into AT&T Stadium at noon. And, of course, I'll be there probably fish for breakfast uh, on that Sunday morning. And we invite you, of course, to join us at CowboysSI.com as well as here, where we are all over the Cowboys and proud to say for 37,000 in Cowboy Nation, we do it like no one else does it. And uh, we really appreciate the Cowboys giving us the access and cooperation that they do so we can do our thing straight dope. Practicing today, we'll have a report later on how it all went. We'll also have an update on C.D. Lamb, who injured his ankle in practice on Wednesday, and we'll keep you posted there as well. Maybe the only um, bad news injury-wise is Tyron Smith. I think it might have been Brian Broaddus at 105.3 The Fan that might have suggested uh, that the ankle sprain might be a high ankle sprain. Uh, We're going to monitor that. At the same time, head coach Mike McCarthy says he doesn't think this is long-term. Well, there's a juggling act in there somewhere because it's hard for it to be both things. Uh, I, I bet you Broadus is on to something on the high ankle sprain. Is there a, such a thing as a non-severe high ankle sprain? Not very frequently, no. Jerry Jones mentions bone spur. Um, and I'll reiterate this after our experience with Dirk Nowitzki over the years of the Dallas Mavericks and bone spurs. You play with a bone spur, and then you just get it clean. So this isn't that. Uh, This is something serious enough that Tyron Smith, as far as I'm concerned, is not going to play Sunday against the Broncos, nor should he play Sunday against the Broncos. Uh, Rest and relax and rehab and do what Dak Prescott did last week, which is basically be a coach. Tyron Smith, you are an assistant offensive line coach for the rest of this week, as far as I'm concerned. C.D. Lamb, uh, they survived a scare there. Uh, And again, we'll have more depth on that later. So stay tuned for a video coming up in about an hour where we break down C.D. Lamb's situation. But uh, C.D. Lamb in a group today on the field with Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup also in that group. Stay tuned. We'll have more on that. Uh, Trayvon Diggs is listed as an ankle, but I watched him work. There doesn't seem to be uh, limitations or problems there. Tommy Buster has been a member for seven months. He joins the Fish Inn club. This is the Uncle Fish Premium Club, and you are invited to join as well. Cost you a couple bucks. Come on in, get a little extra, and also support what we do here on the site uh, in the live super chat. And I don't know that I'm going to get a lot of your comments uh, at this time because we got to run. But uh, I do appreciate your pitch-ins, your comments, your questions. And uh, when you throw a dollar into the brief fund, that's always great as well. Uh, You are not have Blake Jarwin uh, at practice for uh, yesterday, for today. I I don't think you'll have Blake Jarwin on Sunday. If you are a fantasy football guy, Dalton Schultz might not be a bad idea. So uh, full Dak Prescott for the first time. Truly, really full. And uh, he looks to be in good spirits. He looks to be moving very well. Prescott a little bit later today. Cowboys fan wants to know, is McKeon in? Yeah, especially with uh, Jarwin with the hip. McKeon and Sprinkle probably both get to hang around for a week. McKeon coming up and Sprinkle getting to hang around. This report says, hello, hello to you. And to hello, hello to everybody um, that uh, is having fun with what we do. Again, uh, you can join the Uncle Fish Premium Club for a couple bucks, but please subscribe and please continue to do what so many of you have done which is tell your cowboy loving friends, hey, there's something special going on over here. Oh, by the way, Mike McCarthy says there's something special going on too. He says, you know, we're taking this week by week, game by game, but we feel like there's something special. No, that's incorrect. Uh, hate when people put that. Hate when you, hate when we do that. And we don't have too many clowns like this. 
C.D. Lamb is not out for Sunday. That's wrong. Absolutely wrong. Uh, stay tuned. I'll tell you more as we go. But w- one of the things that uh, is, is the, the fake expertise. This, this is mom's basement stuff. Uh, don't come on here and say things that are false. You can come on here and ask questions and we'll clear them up. But don't come on here and make false statements. It misleads people um, because there, there's some gravitas to what we do here. Uh, it, uh, th- there's, there's a level of seriousness, frankly, as much as we goof around to what we do here. So when people come in uh, sideways with half-assed opinions, I find it bothersome, troublesome, and I invite you not to do that. Michael Allen wants to know if Gallup will play Sunday. Non-committal from Mike McCarthy on the subject. Michael Gallup uh, continues to work uh, at practice, uh, started the day on the cords, and we will keep you posted there. If there was a problem with C.D. Lamb, you might see a little more acceleration or push on Michael Gallup, but there isn't going to be, the Cowboys tell us, a problem with C.D. Lamb come Sunday. Again, stay tuned, and I'll have more on that and the whole wide receiver group and what's happening with not only Lamb, who was hurt in the Wednesday practice, but also Amari Cooper and also Michael Gallup as well. We are going to, Shane, uh, continue to check on the fine situation for Harrison Smith and C.D. Lamb. I just care about this, uh, especially because C.D. Lamb gets uh, fined every week for his shirt. So you would like to think that when C.D. Lamb gets choked out by a Viking, that the Viking would get fined as well. Stay tuned. We'll have much, much more for you in about an hour. We'll have a wide receiver update featuring C.D. Lamb. We'll visit with Dak Prescott later today. And you can get it all, not only here, but also at CowboysSI.com. Go there right now and uh, click it about five times and you'll see what you're in for. You'll appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Fish out.